Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamazi here and today is a bit of a different video. Uh, today it is PTR related, but the video is focusing on 10.2.7, the Mr. Pandaria throwback time walking pandemonium event, whatever they're calling it, a handful of things, and how awesome it has been playing it day one on PTR. Uh, we've gone through like 20 levels. We started off at level 10. Level 30, um, gone through the first raid, which is actually Mogushan Vault, which unlocks at level 25. Uh, a couple dungeons here and there. And the gearing is actually really fun. It feels a lot like SOD, honestly. Uh, sort of a retail. Um, honestly, just like, we can even take a look at it here. I have never filmed the video in uh, Shrine of Seven Stars, whatever this is called. Yeah, I got it right. I still got it in my head from all those years ago. Um, it's actually, it's really, really fun. I was excited about it when I saw it and it's basically everything I thought it would be, right? Um, you start in level 10 in Jade Forest and level through the zone, or I guess part of the zone. Uh, and you have the option of staying in the zone and finishing the campaign there, or going to a new zone uh, at you know a different level. Now there are thresholds you can hit. Jade Forest is 10, 20 uh, for Valley of the Four Winds and Crank Lying Wild. 25 is Kunlai, 30, 35, Town Long, Dreadweights, all that. Um, at the same time, dungeons open up different levels here. Now, heroic dungeons are currently available at level 10. Uh, you should not run them. They are, they hit very hard. The gear that drops in there requires level 35. Uh, our tank got one shot at level 16 uh, every time, like multiple attempts uh, in, on heroic dungeons. On normal, however, very easy. You fly it through them. It's fun. It's cool to seeing dungeons again from back in the day. At 25, Mogushan Vaults opens up, which you can queue in through, through LFG. I think you can do it uh, by manually making a group two, not really sure. But at 35, Heart of Fear opens up and these give rewards. They give experience, they give uh, like sockets, tinker sockets. We'll look at that in a minute here. Um, 40, Terrace, 45, sorry, 50. Uh, Throne, Siege, and then at 70 is when the heroic rates open. Now 45, to, I guess 45 uh, to 70, and 50 to 70 is where Isle of Giants, Timeless Isles, and Isle of Thunder open up, which is pretty cool. I spent about six, seven hours today leveling, uh, got from 10 to 30. Experience is pretty fast. Uh, I finished probably about a quarter of each zone, and then I got to a new threshold where I can go to a new zone, and I opted to do so. Um, there is current talents. I mean, they're retail-based. Uh, I started off leveling as AF, swapped the demo, didn't look back. Uh, AF feels very gross, like not having Biotain and AC and other abilities early on. Demo, Thugguard spins and does damage. You'll see it here in the rave footage of some dungeons in a minute, but it feels good overall. Um... As far as like gearing is concerned, you get a cloak like this. It's like a legendary cloak or artifact, whatever you call it. Um, you loot threads and th they're item to drop just from killing mobs. You'll see it in the raid bosses here in the dungeons in a minute. You loot like a thread of intellect, a thread of a, a thread of speed or mastery. And it goes towards your cloak having a permanent buff on you. So I looted 16 intellect threads, uh, 77 stamina threads, right? Uh, it can be int stamina, crit haste, uh, mastery burst, leech mastery, speed, or experience. And they're all a permanent buff on your character. So you gain little power gains, incremental value by killing mobs, dungeons, raids, literal mobs in the world. A random mob walking around the zone, I can go kill it. It can drop a haste thread or an experience thread, right? Uh, there are achievements you can earn as well, which are called, I forgot what they're called exactly, uh, infinite power ones, which... Uh, future time running characters will begin with more thread counts, uh, meaning like their cloaks will have higher values or will have value on them, right? So second character, third character might start off, start off with 10% 10, 10 experience, 11%, 20%, depending how far you go. And the cool thing is that whenever the event ends, like not PTR, which ends Sunday, but the actual event 10 to 7, which likely comes out somewhere early June, I'm guessing, I don't know. Whenever the event ends, probably around war within launch time, these characters will be taken and put on retail. Not like with the cloak and everything else, but if you want to level, let's say a demon hunter as like an alt for Warworth then you can do it in here and get the cloak, get all your gear, get all these cool sockets and effects and all that. And then whenever this is over, that character goes to retail, probably with like generic gear, but you can level characters for Warworth then or whatever in general through here if you're okay to wait for pipe pre patch for Warworth then. Uh, as far as gearing is concerned outside of that, uh, there are gems. Like, so there's meta gems uh, like this, for example, uh, tinker gems like these, for example, and stat based gems, different options or different pieces of gear have different gem slots in them. So like my meta gem, for example, I turned this ball of lightning and I AOE everything down. It's sort of how, um, boon was from S1 sort of in uh, dragon fight storm seekers boon, right? Uh, there's other gems you can put into meta slots like this, for example, uh, a big sphere that stuns things and does more crit damage to them. Uh, locus of power. You can channel energy buffing your whole party. 
Uh, this here gives you like a funeral pyre. It's basically like a stacking intellect effect with a three minute cooldown, but you can like play with it a bit. Uh, this is like a mass uh, semi-permanent blessing of sacrifice uh, <laughs> that tethers to you. It's pretty wild. It's really cool. It feels like SOD for retail, just like in Pandaria form with retail talents, right? Outside of that, you've got stat gems um, that drop at lesser gems. You can turn three into a larger gem like this and sock them if you want. You can remove them infinitely by just using this ability here. Uh, you just literally unsock it by clicking the item. Let's say this, this chest here. Pull the gem out. There it is. You can socket new items with the gems so you don't waste them or anything. Um, you also have tinker slots, which are very interesting. So they're they're like they're damage or utility based effects. Like this, for example, crit strikes erupt into a fire explosion, doing damage to enemies. The other one is literally onk. You can onk. Um, this one, a lightning rod, does damage and gives you crit. Uh, this one here, uh, attacks consume twenty percent of your active absorb shield. Uh, I don't even have much of an absorb shield besides soul leech, but it's there. Uh, fire damage, incendiary terror. It rains down fire like orbs. Really cool, right? You have a slot here on your boots as well. It's a cog wheel gem. So these are abilities that you get from uh, basically there's anything, right? I mean, I have a roll, which monks have. I also have a dark packed one here, which uh, you can indeed play double dark pack with this. I'm not doing it, but you can. Uh, Warlock dark packed. There's Freedom, there's Disengage here, there's Heroic Leap, I believe, for Warriors as well. Um, I even have uh, Sprint, I'm actually going to resocket this thing here too, for Rogues. So, you have like minor utility movement elements for other classes, but also like all these cool, new, unique effects, um, like the fire base. I didn't even talk about this actually. Uh, like the damage base ones, Onks, Defensive, Utility. It's really cool. Uh, it's honestly, I think it's really sick. Really, really awesome version of the game. Um, how it works like long term by having just more, more alts. Like I guess for retail, whenever the game is over, bringing them over the retail is really cool. It's just cool. I like it a lot. Fun game mode. And also, when you hit seventy, if you want to push that far, you get access to the heroic raids, which give you know, um, well, uh, rewards possibly more currencies. The currency you're after is bronze. So bronze drops anything in the world, whether it's you know, a mob you kill outside the zone walking around, dungeons, raids, whatever have you, they all drop. Bronze can be used for a million different things. Uh, you can buy apparel, like for this, uh, for example, it's Mage, Priest, Warlocks. This is the Mage tier from LFR, I believe. But now, from what I understand, um, you can buy, I can buy this set here for Demon Hunters, Druids, Monks, and Rogues on my Warlock and use it. Like, meaning, meaning I can use it to learn the actual set. I can't wear it on my Warlock, but I can do that. I, mean, I could even try it here, probably with these coins if I wanted to. To not to sort of alleviate the issue of having to make multiple characters for different armor sets. Um, pretty cool. If you want any sets, they're in here. There's a million vendors in every zone. Uh, dungeon apparel. There's other sets here, other mog sets. The more you look, there's like heroic mythic raid apparel. Uh, pretty sick. Different reskins, all that kind of stuff. If we head over here, item upgrades. You can upgrade your gear using doubloons as well, or you know, bronze. 34 times. Pretty wild. Takes a higher level, which I am not at. Um, also, the cool thing, if you're looking for like rare things, like rare collections or whatever, like right here, uh, old toys. I have some from retail, some I don't. They're all here. Uh, Jerry the Snail is here, old toys, all that. If you're looking for old mounts and such, it's a Beastmaster over here. Uh, if you wanted, uh, let's see here, uh, the Corcoran Juggernaut. There it is. If you want... Uh, the mounts, Onyx, Cloud Serpent, uh, Thundering, Cobalt, Ruby, they're all here. If you want the one from this thing, Elagon, it's here. g -Kun is here. Galleon's here. Uh, the Warbringer Mount I never got is here. I have to buy this at some point. Spawn of Horridon. Basically, any mount from the expansion is here if you want it. And there's cool reskins as well. And they're all used by Gathering Bronze. I have 7.5k, level 30. Probably going to have a crazy amount of it. So there are new reskins. Also some old mounts. Uh, if you didn't get them, if you want them. It's super cool. It's an awesome game mode. I like it a lot. Um, I would assume leveling might be a little faster, depending on how things shake out. But the event goes from today, being Friday until Sunday night. Uh, it's 10.27 PTR. If you want to hop on, give it a shot. I highly, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And between classic SOD, S4, Alpha, Beta, this, Plunderstorm, and everything else happening, there's so much to do. So if you're a little bored of S4 at some point, I'd venture to guess it comes out somewhere in early June. You can play this.
until we're worth it. There are so many options, but if you're looking at what I'm going to do right now, next few a couple days, I would encourage you to hop on. It's a lot of fun. So let's get into it. Let's look at briefly. Uh, I'll throw in like a raid or two here. We'll look at like Mogushan Vaults, maybe a dungeon, and uh, see where, where it goes for those looking for a little bit of a uh, Pandaria nostalgia. Uh, best expansion, balance is good, effect design. Yeah. 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 That's what I hear a lot of and stuff, which is, which is cool. You know, I'm down. I, I also didn't play in Pandaria. Uh, I play I played very little. I played my alts. Yeah, you know, like I, I didn't play my warlock. I really didn't play much at all because of a uh, hit the hit the ball, hit the ball, boom. No FPS. Yes, yeah, sir. Top of meters already. Perfect. There we go. I I played like my shadow priest and my I guess I should play holy and disc. And I played my rest of shaman. I healed and mop. I really didn't play my warlock at all until the very very end. Um, so I, I didn't really experience many of the uh, things that were like, yo, this, this is cool. This is what makes you know mop mop right. But uh, evokers are wild too. Apparently, they get their whole toolkit, which is pretty sick. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, Jack the raid. Hello, thank you. The Strominator spoiled it for you. He said he said there was a raid coming already, but you know, maybe the raid man. What's up? Hey, I, I might have missed the queue, but I'm back in. We're going around too. Maybe the raid man. I appreciate it, dude. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back for the 18 months as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. 18 months. This is, this is the boss, isn't it, right? Is this the boss? I think this is the boss. Yeah, I think this is the boss, right? Isn't it? This is like Cobalt Guardians, whatever they call them, right? Yeah. Thank you for 18 months, man. Thank you for the raid as well. Welcome, everybody. I'm playing a Warlock. I'm not playing a healer. Healers are boring, let's be honest. You know, but like... Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Stone Guardians. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Thank you, big dog. Once again, I appreciate it, man. I, uh, yeah, second wing is bugged, unfortunately. I, no one mentioned it to me, but we got in there and tried to, tried to pull the first boss. He keeps resetting on his, like, glaive attack or whatever, so hopefully they fix it tomorrow. We can run it again, but, yeah. This seems pretty easy, but it is basically the LFR with level 25 characters, so I mean, like, you know. Hmm. I'm trying to like Doom brand mobs too, like retail. <laughs> like, there's no Doom brand here, boys. Easy. Might not be able to beat the Evokers, but we're, we're still up there. Still up there. Yo, dude, big juice. What is this? Bonus XP. I get anything else. You got bonus XP. Cool. Play good. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, take a picture of how these. Oh, skin seeing the sun. Yeah, there there is sunlight out today. I, I got up, I got up, literally today, at why did I jump over here? At 11:55, and I rolled over and I was like, "Man, I should go back to bed." Ah, uh, is is it? Uh, I don't know about this one, but I'm glad that I woke up early. I'm glad I got up early. Stoned guardians. They basically were stoned guardians. We, you know, we're moving pretty slow there. Um, how'd you get add-ons working on PTR? Uh, so there's, there's a handful of clients for PTR right now. Uh, there's, uh, there's retail, obviously there's PTR and there's PTR X. I believe this is PTR X, but I went to CurseForge and where did you use for add-ons? I updated through CurseForge and, uh, updated PTR X and they, they're working. Basically it. This one's PTR. Okay. This one's just PTR then. So yeah. Whatever I had from a while ago, I still have. I really didn't change much, but um, yeah. Like I need Plater working properly. I need like SUF, but I haven't bothered with it yet really. So I'm losing my resources, big dog, my, my bolts. So yeah, this should work for you though. It should, most of them at least, you know. I was already awake, Jack, to be fair, but like I was debating if I could sleep. So I mean, you know, like, yeah, you know. So, you know, you know. All right, single target. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can top these meters with no tyrant. Different parts of the room buff him, right? Just like that. I forgot how this works. It's been a long time, man. I need to be in the epicenter. I need to move from the epicenter, don't I, right? I mean, to be fair, nothing's really happening. Like, you know. Sure, okay. 
Somebody lost it for us. How kind. Ten players. Yeah. E. I think you, you might be able to just walk in naturally with ten players. I'm not sure. He might have done it pretty early. Because this is LFR. Like, we hewed and do it, right? Um. <laughs> you might be able to just, like, natty walk in with ten players, whatever. I think there's ten men reading, right? Um. Not sure exactly, but yeah, might be the case. Where are my Doom brands at, man? Oh, my uh, lag tolerance or whatever isn't set right. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably just regular PTR, not PTRX. My apologies. But yeah, just update through Curse Forge or whatever you use for add ons and should get you in pretty easily. So. Feels good. I already have my first toxic person on the PTR. They told me. Yeah, it's a little toxic. I would just, I would just dodge that person. I would dodge that. The best thing you can do is just block them. Block them and blow them with life. That's literally it. It's like I'm blocking everybody else in this damage meter right here. We're juiced up. Yeah, let's block them. Move on. People. It's irrelevant. Yeah. Sorry to hear it though, Cider. People just have no lives. Let us raid so much. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I, I'm really curious to see how it all goes with this, with like the cycling of like having raids at level 25. I, we, we can go to Heart of Fear in nine levels, like a 35, right? Which is really cool too. Um, second wing of this is bugged, unfortunately. Uh, but um, this looks bad. I'm gonna get out of that. But either way, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot, honestly. I'm excited for it. It's so cool seeing Blizz experiment with like new things for like mop and everything else, man. It's very, very cool. Like, there's so much going on between mop, SOD, classic, thunderstorm, alpha, beta, S4. Like, it's wild, man, you know? If you're not a fan of S4, you can play this. If you're not a fan of this, you can play S4, or play uh, classic, or play SOD, or play, it's insane, man. It's actually insane, you know? What do we get? Bonus XP, hell yeah, brother. Infinite power three, I am juiced out of my mind. What is that? What is that? 250 threads for the cloak. My cloak is massive. Almost as big as me. 11% experience game. We're juiced. But the Shadow Priest beat us? No shot. I can't escape the shadows on retail or PTR. My gosh. Future Shadow Priests. <laughs> Bo kick the Shadow Priest. No, no, we're not doing that yet. We should actually. Lightning ball, let's go. We're, we're gonna top the meters and overall though at the end, obviously. I'm always ugly. It's just leveling greens, I don't know. Making fun of my one eyeball, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Doing my best, man, all right? Just, I'm just a little gnome. Jedi Freeze represent. They are, yeah, they're pretty good. They look pretty solid. Some classes, like, I was playing AF earlier for leveling. I did it in my first dungeon. Like, it's wild how empty that spec feels without like having Vile Taint, other dots, and like other things, man. Like, I mean, Demo, like, you, you've got Demonic Strength, your pet, uh, a bunch of abilities already here that make Demo feel pretty, pretty like well-rounded. But yeah, it, it's wild how empty AF felt. I had Agony, Corruption, Unstable Affliction, and Rapture, and, and, and Seed. Like, <laughs> it felt so empty. Like, it's wild, man, you know? Destro feels great. I can see that, yeah. I can see that being a thing. Might give it a shot, too. Do we get, like, Havoc and havoc and certain cleave elements? Early? Like, Kata early on, actually, too. Yeah. That's true. Might be worth looking at, actually, yeah. I can't dot these things, man. <laughs> like... Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's the juice. Here's the juice. Who pulled this? I don't have my ball for this, though. Shadow represent. Okay, dude. Okay, these putrid shadow priests. Yeah, represent what? Not even on the meter. Where, where, where are you at? Where are you even on the meter? Talking that noise. Hey, where are you at? Let me scroll down and find... Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Patting on trash, amen. Eh, <laughs> ah, well, you know. It was just demonic strength. My pet went wild. Half my damage is, is, is Jude Hooner, his name is Kirkalak. That's his name. <laughs> yeah. 
taking a break to let me shine. He was, he was taking a break to type. He was a kind soul. Why is there testing for this? Uh, because probably a lot of it based around like how raids scale with like lower levels on that stuff. You know, just in general, there's bugs. There's a bug right now. There's a bug right now that you can level to 70 by spamming the dragon riding quest line over and over infinitely, apparently. But I mean, yeah. is it easy to look at? Is it easy to get a lot of the new resource? The, the bronze coins or whatever? Yeah, I have like 5k already. I've leveled 16 levels or whatever, doing like not much. Yeah, it, it should be pretty easy, especially the higher you go. Death should be. E. What do voodoo dolls do again? Damage received duplicated other players. Oh, that's fine with me. I'm DMing somebody. Sorry, big dog. <laughs> I started DMing somebody, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> they commence voodoo. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, I forgot how to cross over, though. The victim travels the other side 30 seconds. If the spirit isn't returning, they, they will perish. But I wasn't a voodoo doll, so I don't need to do that, right? It's like him over there and stuff. And there's the totem, right? Yeah, okay. I remember this, sort of. Oh, let's pop this thunder orb. Some juice coming in here. All right, this shadow is going to beat us, boys. This shadow is going to... Well, we got strength here. Strength it up. Strength it up. Watch us climb. Strength. Strength. Climb. Pass that mage. Perfect. And we're not catching that lizard, though. It's a putrid lizard. They're too strong. Too strong for us. Too strong for us. Implode. Ah, uh, the mage is going right pass us. All right. All right. All right. We got him. We got him. My pet's putting in work. Doing a lot of my damage. All right, all right. Any good loot? Bonus XP. I'll take it again. It's all I get. It's all I need. What's our cloak at? So our cloak set: twelve in sixty verse, twelve crit, ten haste, leech, sixteen mastery, eighteen speed, seven verse, eleven percent experience gain. I've heard the cloak will carry over to alts. Like, like if you have experience, it'll carry over to them when they get their cloak for baseline eleven percent experience. I don't know if it's true, but. Uh, that's cool. Sure. All right. Where? Could just be an all alliance group for some reason in the way. It could be all ally regardless. I'm gonna hit the hit, hit the lightning in here. Is that a good idea? Lightning! Oh god. Oh no. It's a bad idea. It shot everything. Did it pull? Did it pull? Okay. It, it didn't pull at least. That's good. It didn't pull anything at least. I'm a little nervous there. Is he playing Black Ox? He's not all right. I hate how these things aren't shared, uh, like, quest items, though. I forgot about that in Pandaria. Like, most of the items aren't shared. So, like, it's annoying. I mean, like, that's not shared, that's not shared. Like, either is this. Yeah. Sort of annoying. At least there's a bunch of them laying around. That's good. Yes, like th that thread of stamina I just looted there puts another point in my cloak. We're at like, I don't know, 90 stamina, 65, same thing at this point. But yeah, it's like a permanent thing, whatever. Light doesn't get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it might, but at the same time, like, uh, you know. It's all right, you win some, you lose some, big dog. I need two more. Mm, there's one over there I saw way in the back by Oop or whatever. But. Grab this one. I'm gonna grab it now. Can I get back here? I'm gonna get punched. I'm gonna get punched here. Okay. I'll get it later on. It's fine. This should be enough. I want a lightning here so bad, but I don't have it. It's not up. I, don't, I can't do it. He, he popped his lightning. Look at he blew everything up, man. Dang gum. Dang gum. These padders. These padding tanks, man. <laughs> Let's go. Is it? Do I hold the smash or smash into him now? I don't remember. 
It like debuffs him, right? Or something like that. What does it do? Damage increase taken. Okay, so I, I can just do it now or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It stacks. Here, yeah, it stacks. Okay, we're good. Give me this. Thank God they don't run each other. Perfect. Works. Might be last in damage. We're being a team player here, chat. Something y'all wouldn't know about, right? If I have crafted bracers and socket, we'll carry what else for. Yes, unless. Uh, okay. If you craft bracers now at 486 uh, with a socket, they will indeed have a socket when S4 drops, but they will be 486 still. If you try and recraft them at a higher level, the socket will go away. But the socket will be there next season if you, if you go into it with it now. But if you try to recraft them or anything, it will go away. So you have to keep them basically at S3 eye level and all that, right? It's like a trick early on to carry a socket in with like an item of lesser value, like on bracers or whatever, you know? Um, yeah, so. It's PTR, this is PTR, yeah. It is indeed. It is indeed. Hit the orb, lightning! Juice them up! This thing is sick, I love this thing. It's so good. It's great, I love this thing, dude. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, well, I'm, my ass beat here, what's going on? Patter. I'm not padding at all. What do you mean? It's a button. It, it, it kills mobs. You got to kill mobs, right? Like, what are you padding? I'm not padding at all. You're just jealous you don't have one. You're just jealous you don't have, you don't have any balls of your own. Huh? I don't know, man. I'll make the rules. <laughs> what? Huh? I didn't say anything. Are probably making a return. I mean, well, you know, maybe, possibly. I didn't get a hammer, dude. Oh, that's well, back there. Whatever. It's all right. You're going in, Natty. You don't need no hammer, really. It's all right. Just natural dog chomping in here. It's fine. Yeah, I've been trying to do brand stuff a bunch too. It's alright though. Do I seem to kill the last boss. I think we're done with the fourth quest in here. Yeah, I got the books ready. That's good. Demo's pretty good, man. He just cast hands and strengths and dogs and he topped the beaters. Shadow Invocation here. But I don't. I got Storm Overload. What is that? This is a big offhand, actually. It's huge. Where's that wand? Did I melt the wand down? Mm. That's better. Yeah. Uh, what does this do? Has, passing your major class cooldown. I don't have that talent. Causes you to overload, inflicting nature damage, stunning enemies in 40 percent Well, I don't have any of that because my talent, my major class talent, is 85 points away. But I mean, you know, hey, one can dream, I guess. So, all right, cool. <laughs> nah, I, I didn't heirlooms or anything or anything. Nah, I even checked, but I just guarantee they aren't. All right. You either borrow power, we are gonna slow this new gear and go down. Uh, make up for the fact we have all this. Make up for the fact we have all of our gear in the first day, or the first month. It was that slower this patch than our last patch, but it's fair. Hope they replace Doom Talent with some variant of Doom Brand. That'd be cool, yeah. I wouldn't mind that. It'd be cool. I, I agree. It'd be a really cool replacement, actually. Just I, I'm curious if, like, the Diabolus talent tree is close like too similar to it or whatever where like you summon pets and they do similar things and you know like, but i don't know we'll see possibly yeah 
put the buff that the Doom that I have all those tree applies or whatever or works around, whatever it's called. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's basically that. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. All right, we're saving lightning here for the big AoE. I forgot what wave it is, but we're saving lightning for the big AoE. We're not going to juice with lightning yet. We're holding it. We're holding it, boys. We're holding it. We're holding it here. We're holding the lightning. We're only getting one more cast. We're holding the lightning. I still can't kick. I don't have that ability yet. Yeah, can you much reuse Doom related? I doubt it. Maybe. I don't know, though. Why am I sleeping? What is this? What happened to me? They killed my pet! I think the tank's holding his lightning too. Just a drop of honey, and a king of sugar, and Is this the big AOE? Yeah, I think this is it, right? This is it. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Come on back, boys. I got some juice for you. Come on back. Get him, big dog. Here we go. Bring him back. Bring him back. Hit the strength. He orb too. Hit the orb. I got dogs following up. Follow up with the dog chomp. Good. Too strong, just too strong. Doesn't even matter. Dude, Fell Storm's like twice as good. <laughs> like, yes, yes. Kirk just too wild, man. He's just juiced up on steroids, no, man. No, no. Yes. No. Alright, well, that's all my damage. Still alive? Yeah. Still going, I know. It's wild, man. Wild times. Wild indeed. One hit 29. I don't think we're gonna hit 30, but I mean, if I just fight seed, I mean, seed would be good, but like, <laughs> seed would be good, but like, I also played after it was miserable leading up to this. Like, he, everything just dies so you, while you have two dots up. After needs more talents to be good. Like, at this low of a level, like, maybe now it'll be okay, but how low we were earlier wasn't worth it. Wasn't good enough. Let's get him. Get in there, big dog. Go chomp. I got drums for it. We got a shaman here. Maybe he'll lust. Yeah, we go. He hit it. Wait, somebody hit drums. That works too, I guess. Sorry. Oh, corruption and doom tick summon imps and walk around with 30 imps all the time. Wasn't that how the trinket, Lation trinket, or something like that worked this expansion? I think it was something like that. I didn't play. I don't even know how it worked back there. I forgot. But it made me sick. I love it. But, Looks dangerous. I'd be down for it, sure. Isn't there a bubble I need to take at some point? Okay, that's fine. I thought it was just jumping to clear the stacks. I guess multiple things do, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I'm still trying to apply Doom Brands, man. Right, we kill boss, we kill boss, we kill boss. I ain't moving anymore, I'm committed. Easy life. Nice. Anything good? Got a belt, stamina. Alright, not bad. Where's the old quest give it at? That's pretty cool, man. I, I really like the idea behind the cloak. It's like it's super cool, man. Perfect. I love getting like little incremental power gains from just doing content. It's super fun. Where's the quest giver at? It's very, very cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. 